Hey guys, this is the coaster and in today's video I'm actually be doing day we I'm actually gonna be doing some universe mode on day HK nineteen. Now before now before I, we get into it, I'm saying that I do not know any and and I do not own anything on day E. All rights go to them. Yada yada yada. But before we get into it, I say I say we have a look what we got here. So for the game soundtracks, which I also do not know, all rights go to them. Champion, Fall Boy, and their album Mania. Devil by Shine Down, your album Attention Attention. Overrated by Slipknot, um, The Great Chapter, Passion by AWOL Nation, album Passion, Ric Flair Drip by Offset and Metro Boomin, without warning, Beer Mollocks and Bentley album, Post by Post Malone, Rockstar Fusion 21 Savage, Skin by Bullet from My Valentine, the album Venom, Spam and the Bone by Metallica, and the album Hardwired to Self Destruct, good, that's a good one. Survival by Eminem in, in her album The Marshall Myers LP2. Ungrateful and Frankful by Whale. Work Hard by Migos in her album Culture 2. And New Life Hour by Rancid in her album and Outcomes to Wolves. And here's a, here we have for um, turns to um, so we have former Day Superstar in in English. Who is a former AC Tank Champion and former Comptank. And of course, you got AJ Styles, who. Not sure what he's doing right now. Here to Zawa, main event only. Alistair Black, nowhere, because he hasn't been seen since October, and since Vince does none like us, what's um, um, style or gimmick. Like, Yeah, we probably won't be. If I had to guess, we we'll, I'd say at least maybe SummerSlam. I'm just guessing that. Alicia Bliss, who's still haunting Randy One right now. Uh, Alicia Fox, not sure. Under Under Blaze, uh, retired. And Friday, same same thing for uh, Alistair Black. Well, he hasn't seen since um, um, Clash of Champions. In fact, just the other day, he asked for a release, but surprisingly, was denied. The very first late great Andre the Giant. Right now, um, Paul Cruz, he's fighting for the Intercon Championship. Alright, Davari, no idea. Shinshin, they're gone. Asuka, Carmel Oshimi, AOP, surprisingly, they, they got released. Cause thinking, someone just kept getting injured. And B team, Axel, gone. Bo, Bo Dallas, he hasn't wrestled a match since November 2019 at Crown Jewel. If you're not going to use him, then why do you still have him? Um, Bam and Bigelow, sadly passed away back in 07. We got the bar, Seamus. Seamus is, um, was feeling with Drew McIntyre, still is right now. Uh, Cesaro right now is feeling with Seth Rollins. Corman, and really doing nothing. Matisse, Matisse going back full time to Hollywood. Ba Bailey, really nothing actually. Big Lynch being the mom right now. Miller Twins, they're going to Hall of Fame. Beth Phoenix, commentary on NXT. Beth Bianca Belair, Day's rising star in the women's division. She will face Sasha Banks and WrestleMania for this fight. Then we got the Hall of Famer, the Big Boss Man. Then the next one, singing Big Show. Well, not Paul White. Surprisingly, joined AEW. Um, what's your marriage? You got Roman? No idea, but sadly, rest in peace to the great, to a great, um, Brony Lee and Luke Harper. You got the current WWE Champion, Bobby Lashley. Yeah, yeah, 
Danny Jamie, never thought I'd see that. Um, Bobby Roode, one of the Smart Tag Champions. Strowman, he's going to face. As you can hear, you listen to the music. Shane McMahon, yep. Brizango. Really doing nothing. But I have no idea. But it's more like saying that he passed away a long time ago, but he's finally being in the Hall of Fame. Thank God. I mean, most likely he'd be inducted by by his uh, son, Dave Moysmith Jr. And we have the infamous Brock Lesnar. Ever since his contract ended after WrestleMania last year, nothing but only a few photos with him and his new beard. Nothing ever since. Right to destruction, Kane Taker. Taker finally retired this past November. And uh, Kane, he's last seen at the Royal Rumble for two, mi two and a half minutes. Bruce BK, and just chilling, retired. Dan Bryan, um, this is his velocity time. We about to see that back in a velocity back in Tesla 3. Cancel one one fourth of the way. Carmella, nothing. Cedric, La uh, last year, here, off, like singing off doing nothing for six months and then. Now he's one of the rotating champions for Sean Benjamin. Chad Gable. And uh, tag team with Otis. Yeah. Charlotte. Then uh, she's just being Charlotte. Jericho. AW. Christian. AW. Clowns. Gone. Hawkins. Impact. Dakota Kai. Um, they didn't became the first NXT Tag Team Women Champions, but they lost it to Ember Moon and Shotzi Blackheart the same night. Dana Brooke, no idea. Dana Bryan, he will face Roman Reigns, and this will probably most likely be his last WrestleMania. Uh, and then this is his second 2010 time we found Jericho on first Moxley. Ugh. Hardy Wyatt. Wyatt? Haven't been seen since TSC when he got burned alive. And we got Matt Hardy who uh, lost the, uh, the money match from AEW. DDP, no, he's the yoga teacher. Nash doing what he does best, torn his thing, torn the same muscle that he always does. Ziggler, I don't have some tag champions. Gulak, no idea. McIntyre, former day champion. Dusty, sadly passed away. Easy free. He lasted two games in just the span of, of a year and a half. Yeah. After he beat singing Ambrose and singing just his debut, and nothing since. Actually, yes. Yeah. So he's back now, I believe, Ring of Honor now. Um, let's see, the late great Eddie Guerrero. Wish he was still here with us. And we got returning rare superstar Edge who face Iron Brian or Reigns. Possibly both in a troll friend match at WrestleMania. Elias, don't know. Our Moon, they won have the AC Women's Tag Team Champions. Okay, so we got Triple H. Um, hasn't been seen since he brought an Orn at one night roll. Orn, still from black stuff. And Batista back in Hollywood. Bondango, I think he's injured again. Uh, Finn Balor went back to NXT and won the NXT Championship back in... Oh, jeez. I 
I think it's like right. I think it's like. few months ago, I know that. Galaxy Jansen surprisingly released after a little bit after WrestleMania last year. This might be in a WrestleMania main event. So after months, they uh, signed with Impact. Now they're actually, uh, they already became the second M Impact Tag Team Champions. Jack Gallagher, he got released because there are some uh, allegations towards him. Godfather, eh, retired. Goldberg, he should stay retired and stay there. <laughs> oh, they're going in truth. Arthur is current 24 7 champion for now. And, and Dustin is now Fire 8. That you? Um, and almost winning the uh, Casino Tag Team Royale. Malik? No idea. Valentine? No idea. Slay and Rhino? If I'm right, both are in impact. Hmm, heavy machinery. Oh, oh, this one had the name Otis. He won the stupid money make briefcase last year. Oh, and then and then Tiger costume game the Miz. Um, and then um, Tiger. He hasn't been seen much in months. Then Tommy, pretty sure he went back to um, New Japan. Iconics, for some reason, they split them up. Both are really doing nothing. Jack and I are both in the Hall of Fame right now. Jack and Snake trying to survive. Nothing but his past demons. Jason Jordan, basically retired. Jeff Hardy, still going at it. And. Really doing nothing. Jim Neidhart sadly passed away. Mahal. Saying just days after he returned saying last year. Thinking he got injured again. And then that um, they, um, um, Indian star sp spectacle. He returned and then. Uh, uh, I don't know. I didn't watch that one. Yeah. John Cena. Has not been seen since. Uh, in fact he's. I am filming in Vancouver for issue of Max Series. Uh, you had enough of this. Let's just. I'm just going to uh, continue um, my own. Let's see. Oh, my TLC. Now, don't be confused. It, it, it's. I don't even know what. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Jeff Hardy and Seth Ronchi Intercontinental title. A can run race there against the B team. Oh yeah, with my ears, I'm one of those guys who puts everyone in on the same show. So you get like nine jacks against Kyrie Sane. You get single good birds against the bar. Shari versus Lex Bliss in a ladder match. Rissa against Sean C in an extreme rules match. And Brock Lesnar against Finn Balor. In a TOC match. What are we doing? A number one contender match? He'll see. Wait a minute, I want to see if. Wait a minute. Let me go back to mine the bang and see who did one. And I do not know. I 
challenge this morning. Man. Yes, someone cash in already. Okay, let's just now. The CW presents tables, ladders, and chairs. Tables, ladders, and chairs. Tonight, these ordinary objects will make a select few individuals extraordinary. It's the one night of the year that WWE becomes a human demolition derby. WWE TLC. Now it's time for tables, ladders, and chairs, an event that might shake the WWE to its very core. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. It will be Jeff Hardy against Seth Rollins. This one's going to be a classic. Hmm. You know what? I think Seth Rollins has his time in here. Let's give Jeff one last run with, with some, you know, with some, a top of a title. The following champion versus champion contest is oh, scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. The excitement level just went through the roof in this arena. One half a team extreme. The charismatic enigma about to grace the WWE Universe with his presence. Introducing the challenger from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Jeff Hardy! Introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins! Let your butts in those seats and get ready. Singles action, you can expect Jeff Hardy to thrill the WWE Universe. Jeff Hardy truly is a charismatic enigma. You don't know what persona he's going to take any given night. Yeah, and you never know what he'll jump off of to make the highlight reel and pick up a win. High impact crossbody. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. What an incredible moonsault. We've got a cover. No trouble getting out of that one. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Oh, God. Ooh, what impact. Harsh impact. Oh, 
shot right to the kitchen. Uh -oh. Oh, my goodness, crushing it. The champion into the cover. And a kick out by Jeff Hardy. Gonna take more than that. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. Bang! Seth Rollins feeling the effects right now. He has an amazing opportunity here to cement his legacy as one of the greatest champions in recent memory. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. You're not crazy, Byron. It's just Jeff Hardy is in position. Beautiful technique. But he's got to capitalize now. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. Gonna take more than that. Oh boy, he is rolling. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Jeff Hardy's going for it. Bomb! Bomb! He's done it! Well, that was a tough loss. A real difficult loss for that young man. And he's got to feel bad about this, boy. He worked hard. He worked hard, but he came up short. It's an unfortunate situation. His partner doesn't look too pleased. No, not at all. I mean, come on, like that guy hasn't lost before? Please. Done with one and on to another great matchup. If you didn't think about moving, you better apologize. Uh, let me just fix this. Yeah, I am. Another great matchup is now on tap. We've been waiting a long time for this one. The championship is up for grabs right here, next. In a match that is sure to not disappoint. Nothing like a championship match.
You know, as the Miz arrived, they were pretty cool hanging out with the Miz. And but as the B team, man, they picked things up. Listen, it's not about how the world sees you; it's how you see yourself. And the B team sees themselves as the best. Performance. And here's what 
another glance at these superstars in action. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here are your winners and new Raw Tag Team and Pickham and Riga, the Offers of Pain. That's it for this tag team match, and what a thrilling match it was. These two work so well together, Michael. Up next, we have a battle that will require combatants to work well with tables. Stay tuned. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Rules are simple in a table match. It only ends with an offensive move that sends your opponent through the table. about competing on a WWE pay-per-view event. Sure, having a match on Raw or SmackDown is absolutely amazing, but there's nothing quite like the bright lights of a WWE pay-per-view. Moonstalk! You see that height? I agree with your report, Michael. There's nothing like the bright lights of a WWE pay-per-view. But there's also nothing like the pressure of competing on a WWE pay-per-view. A loss here could set you back quite a bit. Yeah, but a win, now that could be career changing. Think about it. Picking up a win while the entire WWE Universe is watching on the WWE Network, it doesn't get much better than that. Nia Jax seems to have lost a step now. To be expected, though, given the competition she's in there with tonight. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. She certainly has a look impressive here tonight, guys, but it's still early, and things can turn around on a dime here in WWE. She's taking on some offense here. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. Look, this is where you hold your breath if you're a fan of hers. Yes, she seems to have plenty of fight left in her, but that doesn't mean she can't be put through a table at any moment. Oh, yes. Yes. That's going to hurt. Rock it. It's the mark. This hurts. Oh! We're looking at complete domination here. Look 
kick out. You gotta believe this one's over. Putting it all on the line. Look at this. See here. Hung up. Oh. What are we gonna see here? Hung up. Oh. Unceremoniously deposited down. Technique. She is on fire. Dodges a bullet there. Harsh impact. Vicious knee. She's on the defensive now. We're going to see what she's made of here, guys. She's not looking so great here, guys. Now might be the time to try to put her through the table. A lot of people are questioning how this superstar got such a favorable spot in this week's power. Look at this! It's an elbow! That has got to be it. If you're this superstar, you gotta be happy about where you listed in recent power rankings. Oh man, she's rolling now. I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. We're gonna see here. <sighs> Hung up a neck breaker. Oh, what a four! That was dirty. He's turning the tables. It turns up. Still got the work to do. To the outside where she has all the time in the world to do what she needs to do. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Oh, my God. Puts her opponent through the table, and this one's over. And that's the match. The match is over. That's all she wrote. That's a win worth celebrating. That's a win you remember for a long time. We are witnessing Michael greatness before our very eyes.
With these names in the ring at the same time, no one can predict what'll happen. Don't you dare go away. In a match that is sure to not disappoint. Big time matchup. and rivalry builds respect, builds friendship, which in turn has built success for Sheamus and Cesaro. Just open your eyes and enjoy one of the most physical tandems to ever do battle.
WWE Championship, despite Mr. McMahon stacking the deck against The Rock in a major way. Oh, man. Including naming Shane McMahon as the special guest referee. This is what makes him one of the best in the earth shaking spinebuster from the good brother himself. Incredible. Oh. Not a oh. And there's the winning team. What a whirlwind. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. These fans got their money's worth in this one, as you can see right here. saw there was a doctorate class in tag team competition. They just took the game to a whole other level. Wow, now that match is a treat. Thank you, everybody. For the... Coming right up is a match that can change the course of an individual's career. We have Charlotte against Alexa Bliss. You don't want to miss it.
She's making the proud now, guys. Making the plug here, guys. Oh, Alexis just plain silly when she gets going like this. Heading up the ladder now. This could be the beginning of the end. Guys, this is borderline insane. Uh, borderline, yeah. Look at this. Elbow drop. Pearson. She's looking at it. Twisted blitz. Look out. There she goes. All right. Don't blow this. It's not very often you stand alone in the ring with the ladder. Now just climb that bad boy and walk out of here with the win. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, you make it sound so easy, but if we're being real, it doesn't matter how many people are in the ring, climbing that ladder is no easy task. And just when you think you're at the top and you're within inches of winning, you can bet one of your opponents will make you think otherwise. What do you think? They're not going to just sit there and let you win. I don't think so. Oh, man, by the hair! Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, continuing to punish them. Look out. Charlotte is measuring. If you're this superstar, you got to be happy about where you listed in recent power rankings. She's setting it up right in the middle of the ring. Right under the prize. Perfect. Talk about throwing caution to the wind. Look at this. Mrs. Rockpick finds its mark. Yeah, she's getting after it. Showing great energy. She's in a bad spot now, guys. Yeah, she absolutely has to get away from that ladder. Powerbomb planet. Charlotte is in trouble. This is it, guys. There may be no bigger opening than right now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and win this thing. Whoa! She's lined it up perfectly right where it needs to be. Byron, you mentioned earlier that the only thing left to do when you're the only superstar in the ring is to quote, unquote, climb the ladder and win. But I can't help but wonder if the pressure becomes even greater when you have such a huge opening. You mean the yips pull? I don't know if I'd go that far. I mean, it's not like these superstars are second basemen in New York. going to be hard pressed to see a better match than that. Here's another look. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. She was amazing all match long. Flawless technique, relentless attacks, and she brought it all night long. Here's your winner, and still the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa. Extremely impressive win, guys. That'll knock Charlotte down a peg or two. I think so, too. Wow, now that match is a treat. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this Halloween evening.
making his way to the ring from Bulgaria, weighing in at 304 pounds, Rusev. Saying before, Byron, was spot on. Harry Bill, what a kick. But is it enough to end it? 